Hey there crew, it's your captain here, Geronimo, and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Fleet Tier 5 Olymp class. Yes, you heard me correctly, a Tier 5 vessel. Somebody once told me that Tier 5 ships are totally obsolete. I'm about to prove this statement to be totally wrong. Want to find out why? Check it out. The Olympic class can be acquired by going to your local ship selector, acquire ships, get a new starship, go to the fleet rank, scroll to the right a little bit and simply find Fleet Research Science Vessel Retrofit. This bad girl is going to cost you 20,000 fleet credits, 4 fleet ship modules and a single starbase military provision. Of course this vessel can be upgraded to the tier 5 U for which you will need an upgrade token. And now let's take a closer look at ship's customizational options. Olympic class is attempted recreation of the USS Pasteur, seen in last Star Trek The Next Generation episode, All Good Things. The starship looks good, however it is not a replica of the Olympic class, seen in the set episode, a lot of parts are actually heavily modified and changed. There are three template options and those are Hope, Horizon and the Olympic. There is no special bridge as seen in the episode, shame, but I'm still hoping for a tier 6 variant that will come with the set bridge. There are four standard STO windows along with the fleet version as this is a fleet ship. Looking at the materials, we have fleet version and 6 classic modern STO designs. Let's not forget that you get upgraded material when you upgrade the vessel. Extending the advanced options, there is a standard list of patterns, along with style on which you can customize your ship with the parts from the pool of templates, creating your own perfect variant of the Olympic class. When you set the left side of a color to the red and the right side to the green and patterns to the Andromeda which is a standard, you will see how color change affects hull paint job. And now let's go into space. In anti-time future, Federation's Skywalker division constructed Olympic class starship, operated by Starfleet Medical. Hospital ships such as the Olympic class had a special permission from the Klingon Empire to enter formerly known Romulan space. It is suggested that the saucer section no wait. It is suggested that the ball section of the ship is actually one big cargo bay filled with medical supplies or with medicine, either in liquid, gaseous or a solid, powdery form, which could be diffused from the ball of the ship by a system of nozzles directly into a planetary atmosphere in case if large-scale pandemic has to be treated. Olympic is classified as Federation's Fleet Tier 5 science vessel that has the ability to be upgraded to the Tier 5 upgrade variant, making it Federation Tier 5 U science vessel, giving it better stats and access to the ship's mastery tree. Upgrade will cost you one upgrade token. This ship can be used as soon as you get to the level 50. Remember, you cannot get it on lower levels, nor it will scale up alongside with you. Federation starships use phaser technology, so the same is here. Full table of gear and weapons can be seen on the screen right now. As an Admiralty card, Olympic comes with 20 engineering, 16 tactical and 62 science points. Special ability is that it will give plus 8 to tactical for every engineering ship that you send on a mission with the Olympic class. Maintenance period is 12 hours and 30 minutes. Ship's hull has 28,050 HP, but after upgrading it to the tier 5U, that amount goes up to 32,258 HP. That's not it, it will still go up. On level 65, you will have 42,075 HP. As you can see, that's a quite a substantial increase. There are three standard forward and three standard aft weapon slots. As a science ship, you have a secondary deflector slot pre-equipped with deteriorating deflector. Available bridge officer stations are Lieutenant Tactical, Lieutenant Commander Engineering, Commander Science, Lieutenant Science and Ensign Science. Olympic class is equipped with 3 device slots and 2 tactical, 4 engineering and 4 science console slots. When upgraded to the tier 5 upgrade, you will get additional science slot, making that 5 science console slots overall. Tier 5 vessels have two modifiers and those in this case are 
1.935 for the hull and 1.43 for the shields. Turn rate is good and it's graded as 13 degrees per second with the inertia rating of 40. Science ships are very dependent upon their auxiliary power levels, so Olympic class gives a boost of power levels to plus 15 to the auxiliary power. As a science ship, you have access to the subsystem targeting and sensor analysis. To some of you, I'm probably becoming as boring as a parrot repeating all of this, but subsystem targeting is a set of four rank one space abilities, which are built in on every science vessel. After activating a subsystem targeting ability, the user will gain a 10 second buff during which attacking an enemy ship with any form of energy weapon will cause a stacking power to that subsystem and you will get a small chance of completely taking that subsystem offline. If that happens, it renders all abilities that use that subsystem temporarily inert. You can target weapons, engines, shields and the auxiliary subsystems. And sensor analysis is an active toggle abilities of, you guessed it, science vessels. While maintaining a sensor lock on a target, the player gains a stacking effect that either improves damage and power drain against an enemy or improves any heal directed towards an ally. When targeting ally, this ability becomes a healing buff. Against enemies, it is a twofold debuff. If you decide not to upgrade your vessel, I guess this is time to say goodbye. But if you do decide to upgrade it, then we'll keep on going. You will get a grand 4 tier mastery skill tree of a science vessel, which is comprised out of enhanced particle generators, advanced shield systems, enhanced restorative circuitry and reactive shield technology. There is unfortunately no Zen variant of this ship, which means that there is no affiliated lower tier console which could be used on the tier 5 view vessel. And there is of course no ship trait or no special ship skin or anything associated with the tier 6 vessels. Too bad, Cryptic, do something about that! If you decided to upgrade your vessel, well, this is end for us as well. The shipping combat performs brilliantly. When upgraded, it's five science consoles, secondary deflector, and a lot of science bridge officer stations can tremendously help you in combat. It has a perfect layout for a pure science vessel, which means that you will be able to crank exotic particle generation up to 11, making you strong enough to cast powerful anomalies. Mixed with the right traits, active duty officers and consoles, you will be able to defeat opponents with the gravity walls alone, having your energy weapons dealing only small amount of additional damage. Overall, I really had a lot of fun with this ship. If you have access to the needed consoles, you can make a powerful science craft for yourself as well. I rank it 8 out of 10 and I would definitely suggest it to you if you like shipbuilding and a little bit of a challenge. Here are a few build tips for EPG science ship such as this. Use exotic particle field exciters from R&D, exotic particle focusers from the fleet stores, items such as boronite laced weaponry, delphic tier and constriction anchor can be found on the exchange. Chronometric capacitor is a mission reward from a future proof arc episode Time and Tide. Must have traits or spore infused anomalies and improved gravity well. Use this in combination with your personal magic and I guarantee you, you will get yourself fantastic exotic boat almost any time. I would like to give out a special shout out to all of my channel members who have joined as tier 2 members. A big hello to the Alan Patty. Remember, all you have to do to get a shout out or to send a personal message for me to say is to join as tier 2 members, better known as Lieutenant Junior rank members. You will get an access to the special content, but if you click on a join button right now, a video explanation made by my beautiful self will pop out and tell you all about the memberships. This is going to wrap yet another video up crew, I really hope that you enjoyed, if you did remember to leave a like because it really helps this channel a lot. Consider subscribing, consider becoming a channel member and I love you all because you people are the best. Dranimo, out. Does anyone even watch these end cards? If not, great, because I just heard some kind of a tropical bird squeaking in the background of the facecam recording. What is going on?